We got a nice one right there. Beautiful. We will be announcing the winner of the giveaway, so stay tuned. It's a really nice fish, and that's the father right here, right next to him again. Doesn't look like she got attacked after giving birth. That is amazing. Look at that. Holy cow. What's up, everybody? Kevin from Stingray Biology. So, we got the first pups of the new year, and I want to show you guys, all right? You guys said that you weren't going to be... You guys said that you wouldn't be too bored of these kind of videos. We got some pups here. Let's see if I can show you. The water's a little bit ripply. It's not a big litter. There's one right there. We got a nice one right there. Beautiful. And there's one in the back, back corner, all the way back there. So we're gonna pull these out. And then at the same time, we had some undeveloped embryos as well. So we'll pull that out and I'll show you guys what that looks like. And we'll talk a little bit about why that might have happened. But for now, let's get the live fish out first, okay? Let me push him over to the other side. Underneath the cage, it's very hard for me to get. There we go. It's a really nice fish. And that's the father right here, right next to him again. These are pure black diamonds. The mother is also a black diamond. Very beautiful. And again, it's a very good size. Oh, okay. Look at that. Really nice. And this one is a female i'll just put it here for now and before i forget we will be announcing the winner of the giveaway so stay tuned at the end we're gonna have all the names in a in a in a little bucket and i will have oi pick out the winner okay so stay tuned for that to see to find out if you are indeed the lucky winner or not so you know it's kind of disappointing to, to see those undeveloped embryos there it looks like there's about like three or four of them so this litter was potentially a much much bigger litter but something must have happened during her pregnancy oh my goodness look there's one upside down over there oh maybe that's so so we got undeveloped embryos and we got stillborns in this batch let me finish taking these guys out first and we'll take a look at that here's another one really nice and this one is a female as well let's get this last one back here see if I can reach it come on ah there it is this one's really nice Wow, it's really white too. Really black and white. Usually when they're born, they're more grayish color. And this one's really dark. In. That is amazing. Look at that. Holy cow. And very rarely do I have newborns that show such high contrast of black and white. That's awesome. And it's a female too, so we got three females. Very nice. Come on. It's, come on, come on. All right, anyways, let's pull out this stillborn first and take it a closer look at why this might have happened. Oh my goodness, and this one's so beautiful too. It's a fully developed pup. Beautiful pattern. But I don't understand. Hold it. Oh. She's nice and thick. No scarring. Doesn't look like she got attacked after giving birth. Oh, well, there's some skin here, looks like. You guys see that? Right there? Right there, you see it? The skin? Maybe during birth. She might have gotten like 
suffocated like as the baby's trying to pass through and it got caught in there we did have that happen once before so wow it's such a shame to lose such a beautiful fish and let me look at the sex and it was a female too i hate losing fish like this i mean it was fully developed it just really gets to me when something like this happens but anyways uh let me pull out these embryos now there's two here Put it in this tray here. <coughs> Where are the other? You see any more in there, Oi? Oh, they're in the back corner. I see it. It's all the way in the back. So there's one, two. To hold that away more. Yeah. There's one, two, three, four here. Now this one is like all like already decomposed and mangled up. Here's another one. The eggs were fertilized and they were developing. Look at that. My only guess, what my only guess when something like this happens <coughs> is something during the pregnancy stressed her um, or maybe nutritionally she didn't get everything that she needed and the babies just died during development. That's the only thing that I can think of. If anyone has any ideas or knows or has experience with this, you know, I'm open to hearing your comments about this. But typically, I, I when I see this, it's, it's, it's usually when something happened during the pregnancy, like if the fish went off feeding and maybe the mother wasn't getting enough food and then these guys died off or, or genetically maybe these these embryos were weaker and they got out competed for food um, because if you see over here these two guys they are humongous they're close to six inches so maybe these guys got aggressive and out competed these other little guys for food and they just starved and died off um, but again I'm very disappointed at this fully developed one here that it died but anyways let me put this over into the the tub and then um, we'll break here for a second. All right, guys. Whenever something like this happens, you know, it, like I said, it really bothers me. And I have to try to analyze the situation and really think hard throughout her pregnancy what might have happened and what could have possibly caused this because obviously I don't want this happening again. I don't want this happening at all. And I was here standing over the tank and looking at the female carefully and I remembered something and I'm gonna show you guys here the female that gave birth she was beat up pretty badly at the early stages of the pregnancy the male was very aggressive with her you know usually when stuff like that happens I don't react right away I, I tend to wait and see what happens and if the situation mellows out then I let it be and that is indeed what happened. The male stopped chasing her after some time, but she was chewed up pretty badly. And usually stress can cause this to happen. When a, when the, when a, a female is pregnant and carrying a big load of babies and there's a stress factor, regardless of what it is, whether it's bad water quality or you know infection in the tank or anything can cause her to be off, right? And definitely an aggressive male always bothering her can do that. I, I've seen a lot of breeders where in situations like that they do cage off the females, you know, like how I have these cages here. And had the situation been a lot more severe, I probably would have separated the female out into the cage by herself. That way she's undisturbed during her pregnancy. I'm trying to wait for that female to come out. She's all the way back in the corner, back there, hiding. I don't know if you guys can see it, but as soon as she swims out, I can show you the, um, the kind of damage she still has some bite marks on her she was chewed up so badly you know the side of her disc was is not round anymore there's one side that's straight so I want to show you guys that I'm just waiting for her to come out and I'm thinking that probably is the reason why this pregnancy went the way that it did because I could have potentially had four five six seven eight pups out of this batch but I only ended up having four so I guess next time, I'm, if I see any kind of stressful situation like that, I will have to separate it out a little bit more quickly. But again, I think Oi already showed you 
that's the father of today's batch. Let's see. Uh, she's not coming out. Oh, here it goes. Well, the one, let's see. I still have one more pregnant female. That's that one right there. And her belly is pretty full. So she should be popping any day now. And then the one right underneath her right there is the mother. And um, I'll just wait for her to swim out and then show you guys what she looks like and the damage that was on her. So let's be patient. Give me a second. As soon as she pops out, I'll start recording. All right, guys, I was tired of waiting. She seems to just be sitting in this corner, so I came around to the back here so that I can show you guys. I don't want to spook her. All right, now we got this other guy on top in the way. The one on top, that's the pregnant one that's due soon. And as soon as she moves out of the way, I can show you guys. Okay, you see that? All that damage here around the disc and, and the sides right there. And, and look at this side right here. See, it's like a straight edge. She was chewed up pretty badly. Um, and you guys might be asking, well, if she was chewed up so badly, why didn't I separate? Well, as long as their appetite is good, you know, and I see them feeding, then I, I, I tend to want to leave them alone. But you see areas all around the disc, all chewed up. And unfortunately, that resulted, I'm guessing, in those undeveloped embryos. But anyways, uh, enough of the bad news. Let's move on to the giveaway. Who is the lucky winner? All right, guys. May me say hi? Say hi, Kim. Hi. The moment is here for the giveaway. Um, thank you, everybody, for participating and um, all the comments. It was a great effort by everybody out there. Uh, first off, I'm going to give you guys the results. Out of the seven pups that we had, it was one male and six females. So for all you guys out there who got the correct answer, you know who you are. Um, just to let you know, we had about 290 something comments, uh, people who replied back. And 292. out of the, huh? 292. 292. Okay. So out of 292, 18 people got it correct. I have all the names right here. Come in closer. I'll show everybody real quick. Those are the quick results. 18. Okay. 18. 18. People got it correct. Kim, put, we got all the names here. Kim, put all the names in here. And we're gonna draw the winner. Wait, let me shake it all up. Oh, you left one. You can't leave that person out. He's not gonna be happy. Make sure it's all in the cup. <clears throat> it's all in the cup. All right, Kim, pick one. And come on, hurry up. Everyone's waiting. Okay, that one. Open it up. Can you read the name? Can you read it? Prince Elijah Ryan. Prince Elijah Ryan. Come in closer. Prince Elijah Ryan. You are the lucky winner of the Stingray giveaway. So uh, please contact us. Uh, you can email us at stingraybiology.com. So he's send right me, here. He's right there, yes. And uh, send us your information, and uh, we will communicate as to the, the Stingray giveaway and how we will get that fish to you. So once again, thank you everyone for participating. This was not no, only one winner. Okay, thank you everyone for participating. This was Stingray Biology's first giveaway, and hopefully um, we will have many, many more. All right, so thank you guys for watching, and Kim, say goodnight to everybody. Good night. Good night I to you guys. I think Kim, Kim disappointed. She wants to give away more people. You can't give away more. All right, you know what? You want to give away one more? Why don't one you more, pick? Just one more. Okay. Oh, just one more. Okay, okay. consolation no, you're, prize. you're going to do it. You never no, my man, no, you give can it. do it. Consolation prize. It. This you one... This okay. is for you, baby. This one won't be for a stingray. This one will be for a keychain. Okay? Yeah, keychain. Okay, so we're gonna give away a keychain. So why don't you pick one more person? Hurry up! Everyone's waiting. Uh, this one. That one. Okay. Mike. Vega. Vega. Mike Vega. Okay. Please so you are the lucky second winner of a stingray keychain. Mike Vega's near. Yes, he's right there. Okay. So again, thank you. Mike, you can contact us also at stingraybiology at gmail.com, all right? So thank you guys, everybody.
Take care.